Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is Masonry in Framer. Here we have a normal grid of images sourced from the CMS. As you can see, the images are set to fit image, but the grid cells do not adapt. As for these kinds of grids, the height of each cell has to be equal. And this is why we're introducing masonry. A grid layout where items are arranged like bricks in a wall. Each item keeps its own height and the columns fill vertically based on available space rather than aligning to uniform rows, creating a packed and naturally staggered look. And this release makes our unique fit image sizing option even more useful. Plus, we've ensured that masonry plays nice with recently introduced effects like stagger and lightbox, also unlocking new interactions. You can also find masonry grids in our layout menu to create one from scratch. Masonry also works well in non-CMS based setups where it's just images in a grid. And this even allows you to sort your images freely on the canvas giving you unparalleled control over your layout. You can even define a unique sorting for each breakpoint, which is useful in cases you want to feature specific projects on top, even when the amounts of columns change. And finally, you can also introduce masonry as just a layout option for a specific type of device or breakpoint. For example, I believe it allows many more unique layout options on the phone breakpoint, where you would otherwise typically fall back to a single vertical stack. In fact, this is a great example of a type of layout and interaction previously impossible to achieve in Framer. All of this is made possible by releases shipped in the last few months, from fit image to the ticker effect, all the way to masonry today. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.